you a little confidence. All right, here we go, rhythm, baby. And Let's most run this of with all, the Jets. Let's see. Some of that pressure you Let's feel. do some Tebow we'll action up here. Let's run the QB today. power. Well, he's been in the league now. All he's right. got a lot of reps. He's he's played the position. Mother of course, he played God a lot in damn college. It. He's Put Mark Sanchez the in there. That's all right. Let's get big, Mark Sanchez. Let's do this. Let's go, baby. Going upward. Throwing the football better. Let's go, baby. Get big. Fumble. All right. Oh, Santel, he owns, baby. He could go. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm blessed bringing you some Kansas City queefs. Uh, I'm sorry. The Kansas shitty cheap. No, that's not it either. Hey, man, y'all be hating on the Kansas City Chiefs, man, but the Kansas City Chiefs are literally a decent quarterback away from being a really good team i don't know about really good but a really decent team but anyway guys the kansas city beast right here jacoby jones single-handedly took out my san francisco 49ers and that's what he get we hit him with the big stick dude needs to hit the gym before he comes stepping on the field kyle boss go ahead and runs it in for a touchdown but anyway guys man the kansas city beast I think they're literally a decent quarterback away from being a really good team. If you guys are playing t Madden with crappy teams, the Kansas City Chiefs are one of the better teams that I think are on the crappier side, but are still got a lot of talent. And here we go with the user pick. Doing it big. This game, guys, man, I showcase the Kansas City Chiefs. I showcase their playbook. This game is off the chain. They got a lot of talent, man. This dude just wouldn't quit. So anyway, man, I had to do him dirty. Jamal Charles right there with the catch. Here we go. First and 10. Who are we going to? Boom. Money all day, baby. That was all day. This game was not even close. Every time this kid touched the ball, man, he gave it right back to me. Watch it right here. Where he going? That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Go back to that again. See what happened. He kept running no huddle. So... I kind of let him. I, didn't, I really didn't change the, my defensive formation too much. But, uh, man, he just wasn't doing anything. I don't understand why he wasn't making any adjustments. And uh, there we go with another user pick with my man Lewis. Uh, shaking out of that tackle, man. Jacoby Jones, I hate him with a passion, man. I can't stand that fool. But anyway, here we go. Dexter McCluster coming in hot. Look out, baby. We going to the house. He kept playing man, I kept beating him. Uh, he tried playing zone a few times, I ended up beating that as well. The Kansas City Chiefs playbook, man, they got a lot. They have a lot of weapons, a lot of different routes that mix it up. And Eric Berry coming in with a pick. So Eric Berry, man, he had an amazing game this game. But anyway, guys, look at the routes that uh, pops up on the screen, man. The Kansas City Chiefs got some of the best route combos they suck in zones they beat man it's they have a lot of good passing plays used with the right team i think this playbook is really deadly i'm using this with brady quinn the medicine woman so i mean <laughs> if brady quinn throwing dots so i go four and out right there i'm up 21 to nothing so it's, it ain't no thing and brandon flowers coming in with the pick uh this guy's getting desperate right now so basically i'm just playing to pretty much demolish him Especially after I lost that game playing Goon Ball really upset me So I had to go ahead and use the Kansas City Chiefs and just smash this dude He decided to pick the Raiders. I was a little nervous at first, but after a while man This dude wasn't even a challenge. He wasn't even a thing and I think uh, Kerry Williams gets the pick there um, Over Steve Breston, I believe and man, it's just it's just crazy game man The Kansas City Chiefs has so many weapons their defense is not that bad the rating that they have is underrated compared to what they really are, what they really can do. Um, there's a lot of depth on this team. I mean, I, this team, for one of the worst teams in the game, they are really talented. They got a lot of talent. You got Dexter McCluster, um, Jamal Charles, the fastest running back in the game, most agile. I mean, if you're not using his speed, if you're not using him to his abilities, man, you are wrong. You got... Dwayne Bow, Mr. Debo himself. Uh, Tamba Hali right there, man. That dude's just a monster. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, man, is just so, so much talent. So underrated. And there he goes. Throws another pick to T. Jackson. Uh, I seen him running down the seams with the uh, tight end. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put the defensive end on a deep blue. And defensive end 
ended up getting that and Brady Quinn doing his best RG3 impression going ahead for the slide and uh, yeah guys so right here pretty much trying to hit him with the kill shot end this game and I hit him with the outside streak and hit it with Debo Dwayne Bow doing big things guys so if you guys need a team to play with looking for a decent team to play not even a decent team but just getting tired of playing with the best teams and Eric Berry with another pick so I mean if you guys are tired of playing with the same teams playing with the best teams I mean if you need a team to try out try out the Kansas City Chiefs man I hardly see Kansas City Chiefs gameplay but man the Kansas City Chiefs are really talented and Jamal Charles coming in oh no we faked them out we hit him up with Steve Breston so I mean guy I so talented they got a pretty decent wide receiving core they got a decent running back core um, I even tried to get Peyton Hillis last year's uh, cover boy for Madden in the game get him some reps and Eric Berry with another pick man this dude is just an absolute monster Eric Berry is really good on defense for the Kansas City Chiefs uh, he kind of holds down the secondary he can play both sides of the field he can play the deep zone all by himself he's really good I, something about Eric Berry man he, he's just really talented in the game uh, he's also talented in real life too but in the game man he can cover he can play cover one and cover the whole field so Eric Berry is a really good player here he comes with the sack he dropped back didn't see nobody coming in it was I was playing man I uh, had that man covered brought in Eric Berry and here we go hit Jamal Charles down the streak you hit him with a streak and uh, Jamal Charles just go ahead and eats up this defense Bernard Pollard ain't catching nobody he big and stocky and all you're doing is hitting people hard he ain't catching nobody though so Bernard Pollard just got beat deep so nothing too bad about that and here we go Lewis with another pick man this dude was trash he wasn't that great um, he really wasn't talking I was waiting for him to quit I wasn't about to concede defeat I didn't want to do him like that plus I was like you know what I was playing Goomball early and I lost, so you know what, I'm going to demolish this kid. I'm going to destroy this fool. I'm pissed. So, Jamal Charles with another touchdown, man. Brady Quinn is just dotting this defense up. Brady Quinn is looking like Tom Brady in the pocket. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Brady Quinn is just looking good, man. What, what is Eric Berry again? Oh, my goodness, man. User picks all day. Eric Berry's a beast. Eric Berry hardly drops any pat any interceptions, man. I noticed playing with the 49ers, they drop a lot of interceptions. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's coded in the game. But the 49ers drop a lot of interceptions unless you're catching it with certain people. Carlos Rogers tends to catch a lot of um, interceptions. The safeties tend not to. They're more of uh, the big hit kind of guys. And here, I'm getting real cocky. I'm trying to, trying to come out in the full house. And, uh, man, I'm just getting frustrated. So, you know what? I'm going to try and do them dirty. I'm going to go for it on fourth down and don't quite get there. Uh, end up dropping the ball. But, yeah, guys, I mean, the 49ers, they drop a lot of picks. And playing with other teams, they tend to get more picks. Like, Eric Berry, once again, does this man ever drop a pick? I don't understand it. But, yeah, guys, so for the best defense in the game, man, they drop a lot of picks. But even still, that, that's also the way it is in real life, too. The 49ers are a big hit team. And Tony Moyaki, this dude is a monster. But, anyway, guys. Like I was saying, 49ers drop a lot of picks. That's how it is in real life, too. They go for the big hit. They go for the kill shot. They really don't get interceptions like they should, the way they play defense. And I think it shows in the game. I think it's I think it's really accurate. I think it's truly accurate, the way they portray the 49ers in this game. Uh, it's really good. They drop a lot of picks, but they also do that in real life. So you really can't complain about that. But anyway, guys, the score is 56 to nothing by the time he actually even scores, if he scores. But uh, this will wrap the game up for the most part. There's only a few, maybe a few seconds left. I come out here, he scores, he gets his one touchdown, I guess he's satisfied. And here we go playing peekaboo with the defender, playing behind him, trying to play him, do him dirty. So here we go, hit up triangle, hit up Dexter McCluster. We going deep and uh, hit him, I hit him with the kill shot right here, guys. He didn't want none of it. Debo to end the game. But that's the gameplay, guys. Try out the Kansas City Chiefs. They are not a bad team. But I'm going to holler at y'all later. It's your boy. I'm blessed. Deuces, y'all. I'm taking this man's 14 points. I'm out.